Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Suki Gill. So today's video is gonna be all about tricks on how to be happy. Uh, I have recently started reading this book. It's called uh, 100 Simple Secrets of Happy People, right here. And this book is by David Niven. Uh, this book has really helped me a lot and I really wanted to share some of the tips that um, are listed in this book. And it's basically 100 Secrets, the happiest people in the world. Um, and what they've shared and research that has been done on this topic. The first tip that I got from the book is that it's better to be busy than bored. Um, often when you have a lot of free time, um, you start to overthink, you start to think about things that uh, take your mind off of your goals and what you want from life. And often overthinking leads to disappointment or really just wasting your time and energy. So they say, based on research and studies that have been done, it's better to be busy, to keep your mind preoccupied working or studying or picking up an extracurricular uh, activity, a hobby, rather than just sitting around and watching TV and wasting time um, because that will just kind of give you another reason to think about stuff that, you know, if you were busy and, you know, uh, hanging out with your friends or maybe um, reading a book, you may not have the time to think about. Tip number two is to believe in yourself even if no one else does. Now, a lot of the times, if, if we get told by some of our close friends, or sometimes our teachers or our mentors that you know we're not doing we're not doing something right or we're not good enough, it really has an impact on your self confidence. But one of the keys to happiness, based on this book, is to have self confidence even when others around you may not have it. Um, and may not believe in you. If you have self-confidence, there's nothing that you cannot achieve and it will just be that motivation for you to reach your goals and keep going even when things are not working out. One of the examples that this book, uh, book gives you is Michael Jordan. I'm sure many of you guys have heard of him, but he's basically one of the best basketball players and when he was in school he I guess he didn't get chosen for one of his basketball teams and it, the story just goes to show that if he didn't believe in himself at that time uh, when he didn't make the team he wouldn't be where he is and he's one of the best basketball players believe in yourself even when others don't because you know if you do that no matter what obstacles you face you will persevere and make it through them and eventually achieve all your goals and dreams so that was tip number two it's so a tip number three is to exercise pretty basic right but exercise definitely helps with your happiness because the more you exercise, the more confidence you have in your body, your self-image, um, your body releases endorphins when you work out, so it's, some, it's one of the best ways to deal with stress or if you're worried about something. Exercise really helps you kind of deal with those, uh, those situations, but overall, exercise really helps you to deal with stress in a productive way. I know with me, whenever I work out, after working out, you know, I feel refreshed, I feel energetic, and sometimes when you're not in the best mood or you're stressed about work or school or any sort of situation, um, Exercising definitely helps you deal with those emotions and helps you really stay confident and positive and you know feel refreshed. So I would say exercise is a very important factor in staying happy and really being able to cope with stress. The next tip is basically states that every day you should take one step that helps you get a little bit closer to your end goal. So if your end goal is to become say a teacher, take a little step every day set yourself goals every day that you're kind of checking off because you'll feel a lot more accomplished and happy that you're one step closer to where you want to be um you know habits of uh, you know taking one step a day that really helps you get closer to your end goal your your uh, final objectives um it really makes you feel more satisfied when you're going to bed at night knowing that you did something to really change the direction of your life. Um, I know the worst feeling is feeling you know, unproductive or feeling like you're not getting closer to where you wanna be. And having little, I guess, day-to-day -day kind of goals or weekly check marks really helps you feel like you're getting closer and helps you stay on track with, your, uh, with what you're trying to achieve. Alright guys, that was the last uh, tip. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I love reading this book and I'll, I'll give you the description of the book down below. So please do take a look. It's definitely helpful, especially if you're trying to you know, figure yourself out. Um, or just trying to grow as a human being overall. This book is definitely helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe, comment, and like the video um, if you like the content. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. It's freezing, so I gotta go. Bye.